Jai Hind children, let us discuss the third lesson from your supplementary textbook, The Midnight Visitor, written by Robert Erder. When we talk about Robert Erder, he was an American writer of mystery and speculative fiction. His fame rests on the mysterious traveler radio series and his three investigator series of novels. His stories were published in many magazines between 1930 and 1940. He also wrote mystery books for children. He was twice honored by the Mystery Writers of America with his writing partner Edgar. He died in 1969 in Philadelphia. Now we move on to the detailed summary of the story. Osibel was a secret agent. He was staying in a French hotel. A young and Roman writer named Fowler came to meet him. Fowler was disappointed to see Osibel. He was a sloppy fat fellow. His room was at the top and sixth floor of the musty and gloomy hotel. When they both entered the room and Osibel switched on, they found that a man was standing in the center of the room. He had a pistol in his hand. It was the first thrill of the day for Fowler. The name of the man with the gun was Max. He said that he had come there to snatch the report from Osibel, which he was expecting to receive. Osibel remained silent and cool. He seemed to be angry with the management of the hotel. He cocked up a story about the balcony. He told him that there was a balcony just below the window of his room and last month too an unknown person had entered the room through that balcony. Max told Osibel that he had used a master key to enter the row, door. He wished that he should have entered through the balcony way. It would have been much easier. There was still half an hour for the report to arrive. There was a sudden knocking at the door. Osibel smiled. He said it must be the police because he himself had called them for the protection of such an important report. Max was nervous. He jumped through the window to the balcony. But there was no balcony as Osibel had told. He fell down to the ground from the sixth floor. Then the door opened. The waiter entered the room with a tray, a bottle of wine and two glasses. Osibel had ordered for them. The waiter left. Fowler didn't know anything about the balcony. He feared that Max would return soon. But Osibel told him the fact that he would never return. Thus, Fowler was much impressed by his cleverness and presence of mind. Let's discuss Osibel's characteristics. Osibel was a secret agent. He was fat and sloppy fellow. In his appearance, he did not seem to be a romantic figure. He came to Paris from Boston 20 years ago. He could speak French and German possibly. He had not lost the American accent. Osibel was a very intelligent person. He had a great presence of mind. He did not lose heart in a difficult situation when he faced a man with a pistol in his hand. He remained cool. He cocked up a story about the balcony. He made Max nervous by, by telling him about the pillars. He got Max killed without any fighting and shooting. Fowler, who was disappointed to meet him at the beginning of the story, was very much impressed with his intelligence and presence of mind at the end of the story. Now about Max. Max is a secret agent and a rival and an enemy of Osbel. He is slender, a little less than tall. He appears crafty and has a countenance of a fox. 
There is nothing especially menacing about him except his pistol. He enters Osborne's room to take away a very important paper concerning some new missiles. Now about Fowler. Fowler is a young and romantic writer. He wants to write a book on detectives. Fowler forms a very romantic and grand picture of a secret agent in his mind. He finds Osborne not cracking pistols or surrounded by dark-eyed beauties like James Bond. He feels let down after meeting Osborne. Hope you have understood the story. Thank you.